Hello folks, Matt Peterson here, trainer at Pragmatic Works, and in this YouTube video, what I want to show you is a new preview feature that is in Dataverse tables for a certain kind of data type on your columns, which is a formula. Uh, with this new preview feature, we can write the Power Apps FX language inside of our columns inside of Dataverse, and there's a few different use case scenarios for this, so I've got one just to show you how we can not use the calculated column uh, window editor to do calculated columns, just write the formula ourselves as well as a cool little power automate feature that I want to show in here as well. So without any further ado, let's take a look at how we can get this done. All right, so what you see is I have a very simple model-driven app for this situation where we have a project, who the contractor is, the project bid amount, how much money the contractor has spent, and then what is that difference right here? So right now we can see that we still have $1,000 technically left before we hit that project bid amount. So how am I setting up this column? As well as, let me show you another column I have in here. I have an overspend alert, which currently is set to no. So my overspend alert and my contract, uh, my money spent over under, those are two calculated columns, well, not two calculated columns, two columns I made with the Power Apps FX language. So let me show you how that was done. So over here, I'm gonna first come on over and take a look at this money spent over under the bid. So when I select that, here I used a data type that's called formula. And this is in preview, and this is in the data type dropdown. And based on the formula that you write, it will choose the data type to store this in. And so what I did here, just to show you how easy this is, is I just start to write in what I want to do. So I want to look at my contract money spent. So contract money spent, and then subtract what the bid value was. And so this is just using our Power Apps FX language. Now I could have made this exact same column using a calculated column um, for the column itself, but now I can just write the formula and no need to open up a separate window to get that done. So that was my first column. Pretty easy, pretty snazzy, right? So I'm just gonna click cancel, I shall just hit save here, although nothing really changed about it. Now let me show you this other one that actually brings in more of the Power Apps FX language. And they're gonna be continuing to update more and more functions that are gonna be supported inside of these columns using the formula data type. The next one I want to show you is my overspend alert column. So the idea is going to be in this in a second, is this column is a true false column. And I'm gonna have a power automate that says any time that the overspend alert column goes from false to true, I want to send out an email, basically saying they've spent too much money of our uh, kind of requirements and we need to follow up with this contractor immediately before anything else occurs. So that's the idea of why I made this column here. And I get to also show you how we use the Power Apps FX language. So let me click on inside of here. So we're gonna go into this overspend alert column. So again, we'll come on over here, and again, I chose a formula, and this is the formula that I wrote down. And so this is more than just a simple subtract add kind of thing. I'm using some if logic. So let me walk you through how I did this. So I said if is blank project bid. So if we have a project, but the bid hasn't come in yet, uh, I'm gonna say let's set this column currently to false. Because remember, when it goes to true, that's when I want my power automate to kick off. So if the project bid, currently we don't even have a bid, we're gonna set this column to false. If it's not blank, then I'm gonna run another if check. And I'm gonna say, all right, take a look at the contract money currently spent. And is that value greater than the bid amount that was given to us times 1.4? So if they spend over 140% of what we allocated, we wanna set this column to true so that I can get an overspend alert email. If it's not greater than 1.4, everything is still good. And so we just write false here. And so I wrote this whole statement using the Power Apps FX language. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna show you, just so you know for our Power Automate, I'm gonna click on my advanced options here. Because in my Power Automate, I'm going to need to reference this column for inside of my trigger. And so whenever you're referencing columns inside of there for certain conditional checks on that, you're gonna to have to reference the logical name. So this is my logical name right here, which you'll see in just a few moments. All right, so that's how I'm setting up uh, those formula columns. 
And again, all you do is you just click new column and then this is located under data type. You can see it is a formula preview. So it's still in preview, but definitely feel free to try this thing out. Uh, there's many use cases for, for doing this. So I'm gonna hit cancel here because I'm not gonna actually add the column in. And now let me take you to the flow that I made based off of this. So on this flow I have when a row is added, modified, or deleted. And I have it just set to added or modified. And it's looking at that projects table, but then in the advanced options, I'm only looking for my row of the spend alert. So I only want this to execute down here to my send email step if my over spend alert is equal to true. So when it's equal to false, we're not gonna run this, only if it's equal to true. And then I just have a fairly generic email here for quick purposes. Hey, overspend alert for project. I brought in the name of the project, how much money was spent. And then I say this is over at least 140% of the project bid. And we could add more into it, like contact the contractor, etc. But to keep this YouTube video nice, sweet, and short and show you that formulas are now allowed in Dataverse columns, I kept it short there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna click my save again, even though I didn't make any changes. I'm gonna test, and I'm gonna go back into my model-driven application. So I'm gonna test this out manually here. And when I come on over into my model-driven application, I already see that I have a kitchen remodel. So I'm gonna come in here and modify. So again, because this is a formula column, it's a locked read-only column inside of your forms because there's a formula that's going to operate on it. And so I'm gonna say that the contract money spent, let's say I've set it to 13,000. So I'm gonna go 13,000, save it. We now see that, that my money spent over under bid column does its recalculation, so it's 3,000. If I go back to my view of the projects, my spend alert should still be no, which means my power automate should not have kicked off yet. But if I come back to my kitchen remodel and I change this up to something like uh, $14,500, and I save it. So now we've spent over $4,500. If I come back to my projects, notice my overspend alert Use that if logic and is now kicked off to yes. So with that being said, I should now get an email here very quickly and here it comes. Let me bring it on over here and notice what it says. It says, Dear Matt, for the project kitchen remodel, 14,500 has been spent. I uh, should have changed that grammar, which is over at least 140% of that proposed value. So what you see is that we can use formulas now inside a Dataverse, and there's going to be lots of use cases for this. This one for me was a nice Power Automate, so I don't have to have all these conditional checks in the Power Automate for whenever a row is added or modified. I'm just gonna reference just one column that has all that if logic into it because maybe I'm more versed at using Power Apps FX language for conditional logic, and maybe I'm not as good setting up conditional logic inside of my flows and having nested if statements in there. So again, this is in preview. There's gonna be more formulas that come out. There's more than what I just showed here, but I wanted just to let you know if you didn't know, what in the world is formula preview part of inside of those Dataverse columns in your Dataverse tables? Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. If there's anything we can partner with with you with your training to get you to where you need to be, please don't feel free or please feel free uh, to reach out. I'll see you in the next one.